Okay, everybody, it's me, Gregory Manorino. It is Friday, November 4th, 2022. This is my post-market wrap-up. A um, lot of stuff to cover here with you. And, you know, it's a game. Oh, and you all know that. Something happened today. Maybe you know what I'm talking about already, but I'll cover it here. So typical uh, of the games that is played by central banks and central bankers. People, these institutions are the most poisonous, despicable, horrible, corrupt, and destructive organizations on the planet. I am no fan of central bankers and central banking at all. I think it's a plague upon the earth. And the way this is unfolding right now should should frighten you because we're witnessing a turn of events here accelerate and you haven't seen a damn thing yet i'm telling you anyway let's uh let me talk about the market real quick i got this week completely wrong although today turned out to be very strong and there's a reason behind that and we're going to cover that too uh, a roller coaster ride here in the stock market today. Um, it's the game. It's what happened today with a couple of Federal Reserve presidents that got floated out to tell a story. To tell a story, a tale, a narrative change, just as you and I expected to happen. But with regard to the market, Greg was wrong. I, I, I really said, uh, I believed that this week would be positive. You know, it was crazy though. We had Monday. We had small losses for the market. Tuesday, small losses for the market. Comes Wednesday, the Fed announcement, the market took off. Um, I mean, over 350 points higher on Wednesday, with which all reversed uh, when the market, you know, got a little frightened. It got really scared, terrified <laughs> that the Fed would keep, uh, you know, aggressively raising rates. Okay, the market's digesting this right now, but again, they floated out a couple of Fed presidents today, changed the whole damn thing. You know, you remember Oink Man, Nick the Pig, and uh, well, you know, they had to float out of, uh, some other people with a little more influence. And again, we're going to cover that. But um, did you watch silver today? Silver higher by nearly 8%. Nearly 8%. Gold put on substantial gains. Did you watch the dollar? The dollar fell nearly 2%. That is huge when you're talking about the relative strength of the dollar uh, cratering today. Lovely, fantastic. Crude oil surging. Why? Because we just sold off Bidenstein. You know, mommy man, let me show you what it looks like. Are you ready for it? <laughs> you know, it's, it's a thing. It's a freaking thing. You all know that. Look, I feel my blood pressure going up. Anyway, so we sold off the last bit of uh, oil from our strategic reserves, and now crude oil is getting a bit higher. You remember OPEC? OPEC come out, came out publicly. Public this up for yourself. The world, OPEC, the world cannot live without oil. Let's raise prices. Strangling us to death. They're strangling us to death. Um, you think that's going to stop? No. As a matter of fact, this week, one of the only sectors of the market that did really well was a uh, Let's keep this quiet between you and me. Anybody listening? Uh, energy. Oh my goodness. Imagine my surprise. Look, I feel terrible for what's going to happen here. Um, energy prices surging. Europe, my European friends, hunker down. Be ready for what they're going to throw at you. Okay, because I'm telling you right here and right now, you haven't seen anything yet with regard to energy prices. You're going to get hammered pummeled, destroyed, wrecked, uh, and it's coming here too, the United States, but Europe is going to get hit the hardest first. Mark my words on that's happening already. I mean, I hear from my European friends pretty much every freaking day, uh, and it's it's not a rosy pit. I would love to hear from more of you post here. I have so many European friends, so uh, let's get this word out there. Let people understand what's happening. Anyway, so, as I said, uh, silver and gold, silver especially, I mean, bam, fantastic. Dollar cratering, cr um, crude oil surging, 
Cryptocurrencies, higher across the board. Bitcoin breaking 21,000 here. I've been watching crypto for a while, okay? Um, let's see where this goes with regard to Bitcoin. Um, you, know how, you know my take on this. I'm going to outline it for, for all of you. As all of you have been made acutely aware, all right? We're right now in a full-on, full-blown global currency crisis. It's a race to the bottom. Central banks deliberately sucking, and I mean sucking out, the purchasing power of their currency and selling a lie on an unprecedented scale. I've never, other than like the last financial meltdown here, I don't think I've ever seen another lie bigger than this one with regard to the financial markets and how this is being pushed Fist fed, um, you know, in every freaking orifice, uh, this 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 issue here of, of rates is a rate problem. It's a rate problem. It is so not a rate problem. But again, that's the narrative: raising rates, raising rates. What have central banks been doing? Raising rates, raising rates, month after month after month after month. What's happened? Nothing. Inflation continues to surge higher. When are people going to wake up? When are people going to wake up and say, "Hold on a minute here." It's not working. Inflation continues to surge out of control here. They're not going to say nothing, okay? Because they've been lulled into a sense of I have of I don't even know what a subhuman state. They can't even think anymore. They can't think anymore. Uh, but again, the lie is being propagated every day. CNBC, Bloomberg, Fox Business, Reuters, you name it, they're all pushing the same dog shit narrative that's a rate problem. And the central banks are gonna they're gonna continue to raise rates. Oh yes. Because they're gonna, they're really, they're really, really, really serious, really serious about controlling inflation. <laughs> People, I don't know how long I've been telling you that central banks have zero, zero, zero interest in doing a damn thing about inflating. What you can expect to happen here, okay? Global debt is going to balloon much faster. It must do that in order to function. And again, what's underlying the, the main issue here is creating slaves to that debt, nation slaves, individual slaves. You're going to see public debt, federal debt, household debt, personal debt, consumer debt, rip higher, faster than ever before in history, ever before in history. That's the way it's going to work. Got this weird thing flashing on my screen over here. Does that mean someone's... Are they, are they tapping my freaking computer? I have no idea, but I don't know what that is. <laughs> lovely. Lovely. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> All right, people, look. I outline what's happening here in, in the markets. Uh, let, let, let me... Um, look at what I wrote here, and I underlined it. Con job. It's a freaking con job. Now let's talk about the con job actually. And, and this is what sparked me to write con job. So they floated out not one, but two creatures from the dark depths. Am I saying that word right? Depths of the Federal Reserve. Fed President Barkin and Fed President Collins. Now, they floated out these two freaks, all right? It wasn't the ghoul. <sighs> Nor was it Lex Luthor. No, they didn't float those two out. They got a, a couple of new people here to just tell you a tale. Now, this tale here was meant to do one thing. Did you watch the market? We started today higher across the board. Market reversed and went negative. Ten-year yield rising. Didn't look too pretty. So what do they do? Let's float out the freak show. So Fed President and, and, and uh, Barkins and, and Collins here want you to know what Greg Manorino has already outlined for you, that moving forward, both of these, I don't want to even call them men, I don't want to call them gentlemen because they're things. These two things here, okay, said so they see, they both have their crystal ball and they're looking into it. They're looking, and this is what they see. They, they see the Federal Reserve slowing the pace of rate hikes moving forward and the market <gasps> spraying its shorts all over the place you want to see that again <laughs> oh you know get it like you know orgasmic here flipping around higher across the board oh 
Oh! Imagine my shock. Can I see your shocked face? <sighs> What's going on? It's, it's, it's too much. It, 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 look, if I don't do things like... I know some of you say, Greg, why do you act like such an idiot? Why do you act like an imbecile? Let me explain this to you. What you just witnessed was a coping mechanism. Because if I don't do that... Mark my words, I'm going to end up so, in some padded room somewhere in a, in, a, in a straight jacket, you know, being sedated or something or other, you know. Uh, I'm just hoping to, it's going to happen to me one time or the other. It's just a matter of when. And, and I really hope some of you will join me. Uh, we'll, we'll have fun. We'll frolic around in our straight jackets and we'll bash our heads on the walls and we're going to have all kinds of fun. <laughs> I feel a little better now. I really do. So anyway, that, that's um, that's the situation here with regard to uh, where we're going. Um, I have a little bit of information. Actually, it might already be up. But you're going to love this. You asked for it. You got it. Um, I'm working with a gentleman named John Rusk who actually created the first... MMRI chart, which was on my website, traderschoice.net, Manorito Market Risk Indicator, which is going higher and higher and higher and higher again, or like uh, almost 290, 290. Well, now people, um, it might be there right now, but most likely, you, know, you can go check this. There's a link in the description of this video and you can see the MMRI, but now there's a chart there. You've been asking for a chart. So this is an MMRI, a new one, same parameters, Real time, but now for those of you that wanted it, you wanted it, you got it. You got a chart there. So, like I said, it uh, I updated it um, a couple of hours ago. Sometimes it takes a while. But go check that out. Link in the description of this video. Let me know what you think here. This, this gentleman, John Rusk, top-notch guy. Top-notch guy. And he's one of the unsung heroes here, honestly who uh, really um, went out of his way to uh, set this whole thing up with the MMRI for all of you. And uh, I think personally, and I'm going to say it again, there's not another risk indicator like it on the planet. I know there's another variant out there, the MMMRI. Um, nobody Special Finance put that together. Nice work. But I still say the original MMRI is the freaking bomb. Go look at that. Uh, look at that chart. It's gone freaking parabolic. It's going to be interested. yeah, interesting to see if it tops out. Anyway, people, um, pretty much that's where we stand today. I think I covered a lot. Now, I want to hear from you. What do you think about the con job? You want to see it again? Can you? Can Can The con, the con job. <laughs> it's a freaking con job. Oh, uh, the Federal Reserve, they got it all covered. Every base, every freak, everything they want to do here. They manipulate the market, but it's going to change the damn thing. They want us to think this is going to be lovely. Like I told you, personal debt, public debt, household debt, federal debt, you name it, it's going to balloon bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger until this eventually bursts. This debt bubble is going to burst with the ferocity of a thousand thermonuclear bombs and that's the effect it's going to have on the world it's going to devastate by design the entire financial system is going to take thousands millions tens of millions of people down with it a lockup of the system and then of course those same people like Fed President Barkin and Collins and all those other freaks over there they go, they go I'm going to try not to touch my face I can't help it they go Oh, thank you. I was gonna have an anxiety attack. I was trying to fight it. And and Lex Luthor. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, they're they're gonna they're gonna have the solution for you. You know they are. Oh yeah. They're telling you what to think, what to believe. That's what the mainstream media does. They're out there to tell you, to tell you how to run your life and what you should think, what you should believe, what you should do, how you should dress, who you should hate, who you should love. That's what they do. Okay, but not you and I. You and I see clearly through the mountains of reptile shit, cat shit, bird shit, hippo shit, monkey shit, fish shit, every other kind of shit on the earth. 
I know a lot of you don't like when I use that word, but believe me, please just deal with it. Greg Manorino needs a coping mechanism. I, when I, if you don't believe that I throw myself on this floor, my office, and have a tantrum from time to time, maybe I'll do one after this video. You, you know, I should get this on videotape. It would be the biggest freaking hit on the face of the earth here. I can't handle it. I really can't. You think I'm not kidding? I'm not. Okay. Uh, with that said, here, people. Um, gonna let you all go, but we're not gonna. We're not gonna part you and I are not going to leave each other's presence without doing what we always do all right I want you to bring it in okay I really do if you've never done it before no one's looking and even if they are do you really care okay this is our thing it's our thing if they want to join in anyone's welcome anyone's welcome ready love each other care about each other and be charitable all right let's all be men and women of honor and courage and true patriots, okay? True patriots who understand what's going on here. They're destroying not just the United States, they're destroying the world. Central banks are the enemy, it's not you, it's not me, it's not anyone based on their race, religion, creed, socioeconomic status, or anything else. That's what they try to do, okay? You must hate these people because of that. You have to hate these people because of this. We're a family here. This is a worldwide global family, well, not just this blog, but all of us here. And we all have a responsibility to each other. And believe me, I'm not looking for kudos or, or anything like that. But with, with Ed Hall, my, my best friend in the world who just passed away, I, I, I live by that. I took this man in when no one else wanted him. Freaking hero. Could you imagine that? Could you imagine that? Anyway, it was my honor and my privilege to do that. And I would do it again. And I wish I had him back. I wish I had him back. But he lived for 99 years. And I can't be greedy. I was happy to know him. And I was given such a privilege. Just remember this too before I let you go. If you have an opportunity to make a positive difference in someone's life, take it. Jump at it. And, and, and look at that as a, as a badge of honor that you, you were able to do something to make a positive difference in someone's life. Even if it's just a smile, even if it's just a passing by hello to someone. Call, you know what I'm going to urge all of you to do? We all have this. Call somebody today that maybe you haven't spoken to for a while. Tell them that you're thinking about them. You know what? You just crossed my mind today. I wanted to check on you. I want to see how you're doing. It's been a while, you know? Maybe just go out and meet your neighbors. You know, people you pass by every day and you kind of walk around your blinders on or your earpieces and you don't pay attention to the environment. Look at the God-given gift that we have, this world that we have, that we're all custodians of, that we really should be taking care of here. Appreciate nature, a bird, a tree, uh, even a, a bug. You know, like every, every living thing has a purpose, Okay. And, and we have to nurture these things. We have to nurture these things. We have to nurture each other. You understand? It's so important. I don't know another way to put this. Um, anyway, look, I could go on and on about all this stuff here. and um, But I think all of you get it here. And, 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 and I don't know what else to say. Um, but I do love all of you. I mean this from my heart. I really do mean this. We're a family. When I talk to all of you out here, I feel like we know each other. I feel, and I, I, you know, people say, people say, hey, Greg, you know, I feel like you're a friend. I am a friend. You're a friend to me. I'm a friend to you. I guarantee you if we cross paths on the street, which I cross people paths a lot. I'm in a store. I'm out somewhere and I hear my name being called. Greg, Greg, my, hey, you, you're Greg. You run, people run up to me. Hey, you're Greg Manorino. Oh my God, I watch you all the time. Oh, you know, you made such a difference in my life. And you know, it's so of you. All of you have, have made such, you know, there are so, there's been so many times I've wanted to stop doing this and this became a lot to me and I thought about quitting. I, I didn't never stop because I see I'm making a difference and I can see it in the comments and that's all I want to do. I don't want medals. I don't want awards or anything like that. I just want to be remembered one day like Ed Hall as a man who made a difference in the world. Like Ed, Ed made a difference in this world and we all need to make a positive difference in the world, in someone's life. Let's look at the, look for those opportunities and jump at them. Let's look for them, all right? Anyway, I could go on and on and on. But again, I'll see all of you on Sunday for my Marcus to look ahead. And um, have a great, great weekend.
I love all of you from the heart. Yet again, I mean this with all I got. And that's all. All right, I'll see you Sunday.